Hello, everyone. It is me, Madam Pamita, and I'm here with an excerpt from my new book, The Book of Candle Magic. It's available everywhere. You can buy it at the Parlor of Wonders, of course, but you can also buy it at Amazon. Or what I like to ask you to do is to go to your local bookstore or your local metaphysical store, spiritual supply shop, and ask them to order it for you. They might even have it in stock now, but um, there it is, The Book of Candle Magic. I'm going to read to you a little segment from it called dressing a candle with herbs. All right. So here we go. Once you have mastered dressing a candle with oil, you are ready to add additional herbs to the mix. Each one of these elements adds nuance and customization to your spell. For example, if you're doing a spell for love, you could start with a sensual patchouli oil, but if you also wanted to bring in an element of commitment and true love, you could add red rose petals to the mix. Adding these herbs adds dimension to your spell and supports getting the exact result that you want. There are a few ways that you can add the energy of additional herbs to your spell. You can either do it by creating an oil blend, for example, blending patchouli oil and rose oil, for example, by adding herbs to your oils, creating a patchouli oil with rose petals in the oil bottle, by dressing the candle with oil and sprinkling herbs around the candle, dressing the candle with a patchouli oil blend and sprinkling rose petals around the candle, or by dressing the candle with oil and sprinkling dried herbs on the sides or the top of the candle. Patchouli oil on the candle and crumbled rose petals on the top or the sides of the candle. There are a few special notes here. Woody roots and herbs that are heavy and chunky are best used either as additions to an oil or sprinkled around a candle. Oils are sticky enough to allow powdered herbs and crumbled leafy herbs or petals to adhere to a candle, but are not sticky enough for heavy, chunky, chopped roots, barks, and woody bits to stick to the side of a candle. The law of gravity must be obeyed. Also, a little goes a long way. Remember that herbs are flammable. A tiny pinch of an herb is all you need for your magic, and it will be economical and, most importantly, won't catch on fire as easily. There's one important final note about working with herbs and oils. There are more than 300,000 species of plants in the world, and only a handful have been documented in magical books. However, all plants are magical. If you find that you would like to engage with herbs directly, try spending time in nature or in a garden. Connect with the plants and the trees around you. Look at a field guide and identify them. Look at the plant itself. Touch and smell them, unless they're poisonous, and then no, don't. Uh, spend time with them and listen to what they have to teach you. You may attune to new and yet undiscovered magical purposes for the plants that are right in your backyard. And there you have it, a little segment about working with plants in your candle spells from the Book of Candle Magic, available everywhere that you buy books. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you in a week with another excerpt for you. Bye.